registration of Navi's security light is required to unlock the recording. The rest of the product is completely um, functional without any uh, registration required. Um, basically, you need to enter the information, address information, and you need to use a license that already has Easy Security Lights in it. As you submit the registration request, you actually will get a PayPal request back. It can be paid with credit cards or if you have a PayPal account. Sometimes it's handled through your partner to actually pay for that one. You, after receiving the email, get uh, the information and you enter that in security setup and you're actually ready to use a complete one lot. So uh, let's take a look at this one in here. And first, let's see what it is that uh, is locked in here. So if I have a test role in here, I'll actually import a SQL profiler trace. I select the file on the drive and click OK in here. It comes up with a message saying that is uh, an unregistered version and it only allows certain objects in here. It basically means you can correct all the roles delivered by Microsoft for either customizations or for localizations to NAV in here. And then there is a demo range up here. So, but basically it import this one. It had uh, 38 records inserted, some of them being related permissions in here. But let's take a look at how you actually would register easy security Like You start that from the security setup First information is to put your real name and address in here, and I'm going to put in uh, virtual.com. And it's uh, in Georgia, and I put in my phone number in here. And then um, you also need to uh, put in the companies you actually want to request information for because the license is locked to certain companies. And in um, um, in my database in here, uh, I only have one company and I'll request information for that one. Only the first 15 characters is going to be checked, but you need to add the companies you actually want to request uh, this key for. In here. Then you request a registration by email. You basically build an email down here, and um, it has uh, an information in it, and you basically just go ahead and send that email with that text string in there. It, as you can see, it contains your information, my Atlanta that I spelled wrong in here, and the license number, and my companies that I choose. And you can't request them for Kronos, you will not issue licenses for either Kronos licenses or for Kronos companies. As uh, we receive that request, you send back the PayPal request and it can be paid with a normal credit card as you actually receive that one in here. After you receive, we receive the payment, you submit you a key for this one and I have a sample of that one in here. Key start with Nav ESL in here, and it's just a very, very long text string. I'm going to copy that one, go into my security setup, put it into one of the registration keys in here. And as I put that in, it takes the license number out of there. A registration key only works for one license, so you can actually have multiple registration keys in your database one for your partner and one for your own license, for example. After this one, I put in the registration key. Let's go back and create another new role in here and import my SQL profiler trace. And I'm not using uh, the right license in here right now, so that's why I didn't get it in here. So let's go upload my license. So the license has now been updated to use that one. You need to start the service here.
So you can see in here now, my session actually say I'm using the right license number. So that's the one I also have a registration key for. So if I now go to my permission set, import uh, test number three in here, import my secret profile or trace. I don't get the warning any longer that is going to use uh, that limited range. And instead of my 38 permission, I actually going to get 56 in here. That also includes tables uh, above the 50 that was the limit uh, before actually in here. So uh, that's basically the registration process. From the security setup, put in the address information, put in the companies, request an email, pay for the software, and when the registration key is received, paste it in here. Ensure that the right license is being used also at the same time.